Okay, so let's have a look at his wage slip for Jason. It's week number 52. So he's got payments of basic and overtime. So his overtime is time and a half. The number of hours he worked this week is 39 hours basic and 10 hours overtime. The rate of pay he gets is 10 euro for every hour he works basic. So we need to calculate what the rate is for overtime. Remember it's time and a half. So what we need to do is to, <clears throat> a couple of things we need to identify here is A, we need to find out what his basic pay is. B, we need to find out what his overtime is. C, we need to find out what his gross pay is. And that's his basic plus his overtime. So remember your gross pay is all your pay together before any deductions. D, then we have to calculate his total deductions. So we have a list here of his total deductions of PAYE, PRSI, USC, savings, union fees. We're going to add all them up together to get total deductions for D. And E, then net pay is where you take your total deductions and you take it away from gross pay. A couple of things from this then. So PAYE, PRSI, USC, they are statutory deductions. Savings, savings and union fees are your voluntary deductions. So let's have a look at the first one. So to calculate A, we need to take 39 hours and multiply it by 10. That's your hours. That's his hours. He, so he gets 10 euro for every hour he works. So it's going to be 39 multiplied by 10. So his basic wage is going to be 390. So once we have these figures, we can find out different things from these figures. So if we got the amount that he's paid, and let's say they just give us the rate. So to tell us the amount, they give us the rate. If we divide 39 by 10, it'll help us to identify the number of hours that he works. If they don't give us the rate, we can take 390 and divide it by 39, and it'll give us 10. So we'll find out what the rate is. Second thing we need to find out then B is his overtime rate. Now it tells us that 10 is time and a half. So first of all, we need to find out how much is his overtime rate. So it's 10 multiplied by 1.5, because 1 1.5 is always time and a half. So that's going to be equal to 10 multiplied by 1.5. And you're going to get 15 euro. So his overtime rate is 15 euro. So when he works overtime, for every hour he works overtime, he's going to get 15 euro. This time, this week, he's worked 10 hours overtime. So to find out how much he gets, you're going to take the 10 hours he's worked and multiply by 15. And that will give you 150. So he's worked or he's earned 150 euros based on his overtime. So B is 150. So how do we calculate C? We're going to add his basic time and his overtime together. So in there is or in your calculator is going to be 390 plus 150. So his total pay is going to be 540. So the main thing from this is the time and a half. So you're going to take the rate that he gets per hour. You're going to multiply by 1.5 because it's time and a half. If that was double time, you'd multiply it by two. If it was triple time, you'd multiply 10 by three. So we got 15 by 10 gives you 150. So same again here. If they leave us blank and they don't give us the rate, you can take and to give us the amount and the number of hours, you divide 150 by 10 and it'll also give you the rate. So if you have any two of these figures, you can calculate the figure that's left out. Part D then you're going to take these five deductions and just add them together. Okay, so C or D, is going to be 170 in your calculators plus 49 plus 36 plus 15 plus 35 and that's going to give you 340 that's your total deductions now net pay is equal to gross pay minus deductions so in this question net pay is equal to your gross pay is 540 and deductions is 340. So these two figures here. So in your calculators, you'll be putting 540 minus 340, and that's going to give you 200. So this week, they earned 200 after you take away your deductions. And how, that's how you answer a simple wage slip.